Okay, I believe that this is recording and I'm gonna try to look into the camera versus not looking into the camera. Is this recording? Okay, it is recording. Um, I have been gone off of YouTube for quite a while. Um, a lot of things have happened. I moved. It's just been a lot of stuff. Um, I'm recording on my Canon. Um, this is my first time recording, so hopefully the quality and the sound is good. If you hear anything else in the background, that is my air conditioner. It's just maybe I should look turn my thing that way because this is I don't know. It's difficult trying to film and not look in the viewfinder because at least when I was filming on my MacBook like I could I was looking at myself I wasn't having to look like over here so I just have to remember to look here um yeah that's pretty much it like I just I took a break from YouTube it's been five months since the last time that I made a video and I was just like I was a little stressed it was like you know like when shit just hits the fan like so many things just pile up on you at once and you know like some good things have happened like you know I graduated school and you know my family's really proud of me as far as you know having two children and you know finishing school I mean granted it did take me a little more time to finish a four-year school than some people but you know I'm me and you know I did it so I'm pretty much proud of myself so that's great um I still haven't found like I have to sit up straight I still haven't found like that job that I want but hopefully that will come in time I mean I know a lot of people that you know I went to school with they said it took them like quite a while to find a job and there's even some people who still have yet to find one so hopefully I'm not one of those people but um that's pretty much it like like shit hit the fan for real like I moved I graduated a lot of things happened at once and I'm actually feeling really good about filming today. I feel like it's a stress reliever to get on the camera and talk to you guys. So I'm gonna definitely get back into filming and hopefully I learn how to film on this damn camera or else it would have been like no point in me getting it. So um we're gonna talk about jewelry. Now I think that jewelry really can make or break an outfit. And you know, I mean I have I mean, I have a pretty, you know, decent, I had to look over there because that's where it is. I have a pretty decent accessory collection. So I've just been like building off of that and, you know, for trying to find pieces that I, not, I don't want to say nobody else has because I don't really shop places that it's just like, oh, this is such a rare find. I just had to get it, you know, because I mean, anybody can mimic, you know, the type of thing. This jewelry isn't copyrighted. So um, I did get a few things. I actually made my first jewel mint purchase and I'm pretty sure you guys all know what jewel mint is and I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen like this necklace I bought one thing and I think the only reason why I bought it is they gave me like a really big percentage off and I was like oh it's $29.95 no I like I'm very cheap when it comes to certain things and certain things I don't mind spending money on but I think I'm like what that's too much money but um I went to jewel mint and it's in focus I believe yeah um why does i went to jewel mint i ordered from jewel mint and the necklace that i purchased is the desert rose necklace and you know it they it's very nice because it comes in you know this cute little uh mint green box and i like to keep the box i never um took the necklace out and then inside once you remove the um this little foam covering with the little velvet or suede or whatever on top your jewelry is sorry I see the light on it your jewelry is in a bag that says jewel mint on it and it has like this little silver thing that says jewel mint makes you feel really important like you spent a lot of money right i got the desert rose necklace which basically is just a rope necklace and let me just is this a focus focus let me go back it up okay um it's just a rope necklace with these little pink jewels at the bottom and it has like these rhinestones around it and it just has like a little note on it it says you know seeking your great escape throw on our lariat style necklace for a taste of prairie paradise an ultra feminine take on western bolo ties the 36 inch silver plated 
Designs for the Pave Stone Cap and Stunning Rosetta Full Quartz. Wear this statement piece knotted or simply draped around your neck to lasso the season's look. Kate and Cher. It has, I mean, I think it's, it's made by Kate Bosworth and Cher, whomever. But, um, yeah. I mean, I feel like it just looks stupid when you just have it just like hanging on your neck. So I guess it just looks better when you tie it, even though I'm pretty sure it's going to come loose. This was like one of the only ones I like because the other necklace I like, I like the um, Astoria necklace, but they didn't have it no more. But I am aware that they do have the Astoria necklace, I think, in a silver tone now. So, you know, hopefully they have a coupon code because I like to get, if I could get anything for as cheap as possible, and that's just what I do. But yeah, I've been really like on a jewelry kick. Like every time I buy something, I tend to buy like a, a piece of jewelry. One other thing that I've been really into, um, I don't know if you guys have felt familiar with the brand BCBG. They have kind of like a, a cheaper, younger line called BCB Generation. And they have these bracelets that they call um, affirmation bracelets. And the skinny ones run about $18. This one says Corazon. Uh, I think it means heart or something in Spanish. But it's just, I don't even know if these straps are really leather either. But it's just, it's not really a minty green. I don't know what kind of green it is. But the, the gold words are like a rose gold. And I have a, quite a, not quite a few, I have enough of them. I kind of collect them. Me and uh, my best friend Justina, we collect them. Um, something I bought today is this black kind of like bib necklace. I got this from New York and Company and I also bought it in uh, pink and silver and they had their jewelry for a while and get one half off. Um, they actually are like trying to step their game up as far as jewelry and things like that. Um, which is great. I used to, I shopped there a lot when I was younger because I'm really tall and they sold like, you know, long pants. And I'm pretty sure you guys are probably familiar with this necklace as well. This is some weird looking like french fry type of necklace that I got from H&M. If I'm not mistaken, it was like $7.95, which is a really good, which is a really good deal. Like those fast fashion stores like H&M Forever 21, those are like, to me, the best place to get jewelry from because they're really dirt cheap. I also got this necklace. This necklace is just a really pretty gold necklace. It's not long at all. It's kind of like, it stops like, let me see, can you fix this? I can't, I don't know. I don't know how to work this camera yet. Hopefully I can find a freaking remote for it. But it has, um, I have like, my hair is like stuck in Yeah, it pulls your hair, like when you wear it down. So I think that every time I wear this necklace, I'm happy to wear my hair in a bun like I have now. Um, but yeah. It has like, it's like textured or whatever. It's kind of like bananas or half moons or whatever you want to call it. Really nice though. I want to say this was $9.95. I also got, this is like my favorite summer purchase. I re I'm really not even one of those people that are like girls that are into like beaded jewelry. But this summer, I've really been liking a lot of peaches at h and Peaches. <laughs> a lot of pieces that H&M has had. So I did get this. It wasn't that expensive. It probably was like $10 as well. Um, they had similar ones, not anything with like multicolored stones, but they had this pink one and this like clear green one. Um, I actually wear the one with the orange and black the most. These are okay. I think these are more of like impulse buys, but you know, I still wear them. Then I, ooh, I got these colored ones from New York and Company and I think cur they're currently on sale right now. They're 50% off the original price which I think is like either like $24.95 or $29.95. But it comes in white, you know, I really like these, especially the orange one. Um, I think these are good like statement piece jewelry. And like I said, I was never, I was really like one of those people that preferred um, like metal jewelry, not necessarily like these, but you know, it's cool. This, I'm really into like these choker style necklaces now. This is probably my second one, but this is at H&M. It just sits on your neck, you just put it on like that. And this was $6.95. I recently bought it, so most H&M's still have it. So you should, if you want it, you can go 
get it. Um, I also purchased these for the summertime. I know you guys have seen these because I know that this was like with each of them like gold and turquoise little thing they did for the summer. These were these are just like some type of seashell type of thing. They remind me of like the Little Mermaid. It's so cute. But these were only five ninety five. Um, yes, that was it. What else? I got this bracelet from H and M, and I can't wear it like my I bought it because my sister had it and I was like oh that's really cute and I have the necklace as well I just don't know where the necklace is oh no here's, here's the necklace this is the necklace um I would never wear these two together that's too much to me in my opinion my sister she's very into like nighty matchy things so she probably will wear these two together but not me but this was not wait no i'm lying this was not expensive this was like i want to say it was 12.95 or 14.95 i don't remember how much this was but this is like a i'm definitely getting into more bold necklaces i'm really like an earring bracelet type of person but i've really been trying to expand my horizon as far as necklaces um uh, if i think of the website i'll like put a link to it down below but these earrings here i have them in gold and i have them in silver and i paid a dollar for these from this website and actually um a youtube guru named mega by lena baby she told me about the website because I, not told me but she told her subscribers about the website i think because of eyelashes and they do sell like some elf products but a lot of their jewelry is like a dollar a dollar 49 dollar 99 and i really like these earrings um it's just like a type of leaf and it has like stones on it i prefer the gold ones over the silver ones even though in general i prefer silver metal but it has like a big rhinestone there and then all these rhinestones around it but i really like it and it's really good for okay like my camera like stopped recording i don't know why but yeah um i also got this other um bcb generation bracelet and this one is in fuchsia with silver and it says love this one is bigger this one is 26 28 28 dollars retail value then i got taken taken is in the rose gold again with like a neutral like off-white cream color this one says true love and this one is like it's an orangey like a coral is it like a coral yeah it's more like a coral and i got another one that said true love but it's in a different color and i have a red one that says true love as well and but it's in the bathroom i got this little weird skull like rope type of can you wait wait i'm gonna focus 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 we're gonna go the back i don't know um it just has a little skull. This one was also a dollar. I got this giant ring from H&M. I think this was $5.95. Love it. It's just gold with like some giant blue stone in it. Someone bought me this as a gift for graduation. Um, one of my bosses. It's just a gold with um, some type of pearlized stone in it. I got these from H&M. These were on sale for a dollar a piece, which is always great. I got this from H&M. I love like jewelry that looks like something else. Like this is supposed to look like a belt or whatever. And you just put it on like this, like that. And they had a gold one, but the gold one, they only had one gold one, it looks faded. So I really like that. And then I just have three more pieces to show you and then I'm done. Wait, my phone vibrated. it. I got this from Forever 21. It's like teeth. I don't know. Like my jewelry taste is very all over the place. I just, I just like what I like. So that's just the end of it. My phone is vibrating. And I bet you this is my friend Justina texting me. But I got these bow rings. These two are my favorite. From Forever 21. These were really cheap. I want to say they were like $3.80. I'm really excited about that. And I also... I don't know where they are but i got these really cute um bow headbands from forever 21 and they have like little studs or they like flat studs so they're not like pointy ones but yeah 
that's it um for my little tiny haul and basically where i've been i'm definitely going to start making more videos and hopefully they will get better with time once i learn how to record with my camera if any of you guys do have a canon t3i or any type of canon camera um can you guys let me know if there's a way that i can record but you know hook the camera up to my laptop so i can look at the laptop and see what i'm doing um i don't know um that's pretty much it bye